mentor behind this entire training program which we are conducting since last 15 years in Maharashtra and Goa. So let us first give a big hand to Justin Gowai. I take this opportunity to welcome our own Chief Justice, Bombay High Court Justice Datta. And sir, we were trying to exhibit our training program before you for many times, but uh, we could not get an opportunity due to the corona. Though in the corona times, we had some online program. This is a basic legal education program, sir, designed for the new entrants who are enrolled after 2020 and 21. In Maharashtra and Goa, we had 23,800 advocates enrolled in these two years, sir. And from this Goa state, near about 450 new advocates are enrolled for these two years. Being a chairman of Bar Council of Maharashtra and Goa, I have an honor to extending a very warm welcome to each one of you on this auspicious occasion. Sir, we are really fortunate to have his Lordship Justice Goi as a chief guest for office inauguration of Bar Council of Maharashtra and Goa office. I am very grateful to His Lordship Chief Justice Dipankar Datta for providing a spacious office in the High Court premises uh, building at Goa, which is sufficient to cater the need of the Bar Council of Maharashtra and Goa office at Goa. We are also allotted such a big space in new High Court building at Aurangabad by Honorable Chief Justice Till today, we have not issued the position, but in the near future, as soon as the position is issued, we will construct a well office furniture at Aurangabad itself. As the presence of the Bar Council of Goa, Maharashtra and Goa is felt in the state. It is a pleasure to have Mr. Justice Gawai amongst us for this function. The presence of Mr. Justice Gawai is nostalgic for us because most of us here had the privilege of appearing before him when he presided over the bench in Goa for some time. I must also congratulate him for starting the initiative of this uh, program all over the, all over the state. <laughs> I must tell you one thing that as a student in law colleges, we had certain perceptions about the practice. We were learning law, we were learning statutes, and we had a particular perception about the statute and the courts. But when we landed up in the court of law, we found a much contrast as to what we imagined in the law colleges and what was actually there in the profession. Express my gratefulness to the Bar Council of India the Bar Council of Maharashtra and the state of Goa for really taking care of all of us in Goa, particularly the lawyers who are now going to enter into the profession and the lawyers who have so well established themselves in this profession. This gesture means a lot to us. It is a vote of confidence in us and it is also very, very great support to us. So I'm really thank you, thankful to all of you all and I'm extremely grateful that this occasion should be marked by the presence of Justice Gawai and our beloved Chief Justice. Extremely grateful to you all. Sir. But there is one option. Attend the court. Be attentive towards your professor. Try to spend your time in the court courtrooms, listen the arguments made, listen the queries made by the Honorable Judge, learn something, have a note, don't waste your time in the, either in the Pacifics, in the Bar Association Hall or in the canteens. Mr. Salumke has referred to space being made available to the Bar Council in Aurangabad and Bombay. Mr. Salunke, I, I would tell you that uh, all decisions are taken by the administrative committee. If you have any suggestion, if you have any request, please route it through Dr. Baranjika. 
your member who is always after me. Right? So, Dr. Vanjikar, as and when you get the suggestions, please forward it to the administrative committee for consideration. Congratulate the, the young members of the War Council of Maharashtra and Goa who conceptualized this concept before 15 years and now it has been helpful in helping the lawyers in many ways. Not only that, but when there was a shortage of judicial officers in Maharashtra and it was difficult for the High Court to get even required number of candidates to fill in the post of judicial officers. The then Chief Justice Moisha requested the War Council of Maharashtra and Goa to do something in that regard and therefore the War Council of Maharashtra and Goa started training courses for the aspiring judicial officers and residential camps, residential trainings were held at different places like Aurangabad, Nagpur, Pune, wherein the candidates were trained for a period of a month or so. Not only that, but for the students coming from or for the lawyers coming from Mokasal area, it was found that it is difficult for them when they face the interviews for the first time, they have to face an high court judge. And therefore, the mock interviews were also conducted which were conducted by none else than the retired judges of the High Court. 